guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, tonight I have a little bit, well, I have a much different video for you guys actually than what I normally do. Normally here on my channel, um, if you are already a subscriber and watch my videos, you guys know normally I just do unboxings. That's all I've done so far. Um, that's not what my channel is going to be forever, but that's all I really do as of right now. So tonight, what I'm going to do is show you guys all of my trash that I've saved for you guys. Um, so we're going to call this, you know, like, um, this was my April empties video that I um, am doing right now, I guess. Um, I enjoy these kind of videos. Um, so if you like seeing people's trash and see what they've enjoyed and what they did not enjoy, stick around. You might really enjoy this video. If not, and you don't care to look at my trash, then feel free to move on. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, I like these kind of videos because for me it's a good way to see like, okay, what you purchased that you enjoyed and, you know, maybe it's something that I'll go purchase because I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I'll really enjoy that too. Or if it's something bad, then I know, okay, let me try to steer clear of that and not waste my money or whatever. So again, that's me. I like these kind of videos. So, um, oh, and before we start, too, um, I know a lot of you might not care about this, and that's totally fine, so I'll make it as short and sweet as I can, but um, my nails, yes, don't freak out when you see that my nails are off. Um, I had to give my real fingernails a break. I am, I do have an appointment to get another full set put back on tomorrow because for those of you who know me and are close to me, know that I cannot live without my artificial nails. Um, but I had to take them off because the last set, which I had had that set on for probably about three months and, you know, just getting a balance and a balance and a balance, they were time to come off, um, and my real nails needed a break, and also, they just kept coming off. So, that was, like, the first sign, like, okay, these puppies are done, like, it's ready for a new set of stuff. And then, what happened here, um, yeah, I was cleaning the other day and my nail bent backwards and the whole nail came off and it did rip half of my real fingernail off with it. So that hurt like H-E double hockey sticks and that was not fun. So that was really bad. Um, it's still a little sore but not too bad and it's healing nicely so I don't know what's going to happen with that tomorrow when I go to get a new set put on but I'm crossing my fingers that all is well and it won't be a problem. So. I just wanted to put that out there because there are a couple of you on here on my channel that we love our nails and we're all about our nails and we talk about nails and so I didn't want you guys to freak out and be like, oh no, where did her fingernails go? Don't worry girls, they're going back on tomorrow. Sorry for those of you who did not care to know that. Anyways, so back to the um, video and the main reason for this video. So let's dig into my trash and show you guys my empties and what I really enjoyed and what I did not enjoy. So the first thing we'll start with will be this um, Radiant Glow Extra Hydrating Argon Oil of Morocco Body Wash. Um, I purchased this at Target and I want to say this was like 6 or $7. Um, this was a really good product. Me and my daughter really enjoyed this a lot. Um, I would definitely repurchase this. I really enjoyed the way it lathered. Um, it was very sudsy, if that's a word. If not, it'll be my word. That's okay. Um, and it smells amazing. So um, I would definitely repurchase this. Thumbs up for sure. And um, if you're looking for a body wash that is very hydrating, because this is definitely hydrating, and lathers up nice, this would definitely be a go-to. Um, I'm sure you can buy this a few places, but I did purchase that at Target. Um, um, let's see. Okay. The next item was... Yeah, we'll start with... I'm sorry. We'll finish with this one. I had to pause you guys, and I came back, so I was like, where was I? Um, this Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub with... It was the Moroccan Rose. This was a really good smelling, um, good sugar scrub for, um... To get in the drugstore or whatever. I really liked it. My daughter enjoyed it and it smells amazing. Um, I think I told you guys before, like I'm a sucker for um, sugar scrubs, body butters, and those kind of things. So when I seen this, I was like, let me smell this one. 
because I had never smelled this scent, so, um, and I'm really picky with stuff like that. Um, I have seen other scents by this brand, and I didn't care for them, so this was a one that I had never saw before. You guys might have seen it. That's fine, but like I said, this is one that I had not seen before, so I smelled it. I enjoyed it, brought it home, and I liked it. So would I repurchase this? Absolutely. Um, the next item, sorry, is this Aveeno Stress Relief Body Wash with Lavender and Gangling, I guess it says. Um, it says it calms, relaxes while moisturizing skin. Um, and it has soothing oats in it. I did not like this. Um, I think I paid like five bucks for that or somewhere around there. I don't know. It smells, it smells good. It smells like it would be like really relaxing. You can definitely smell the lavender in it and stuff, but I don't know. I just, a big thing for me with like body washes and soaps and stuff like that, it has to lather really good. Like I said before, I like stuff that, you know, when you like are lathering it up, it's like gets really foamy, really sudsy or whatever, and I don't know, this just didn't. And I I don't know, I guess after a while also I started to not care for the smell, which was weird because I loved it at first. Um like I said, it smells good and maybe because I haven't smelled it for a while again, because this is not empty. I did not finish this which is rare for me because I don't like to waste things um, that I have spent my money on, but I I didn't care for that, so again, we did not finish that. Um, so obviously, would I repurchase? Probably not. Next item is, they're rolling away from me, guys, um, would be this Mary Kay brush cleaner. Um, so this was for my makeup brushes. Um, I did not like this either. The reason being, I guess, was because of this. It has the um, spray nozzle on it. And I guess after a while, I just thought that was kind of like, okay, kind of stupid, I guess, because it made it hard to clean my brushes with this. Because I would have to take my brushes, spray my brushes down, and then take a rag or whatever and clean them that way and I don't know it just seemed like too much work at times I did just take the um, whole thing off and just like pour some in a little dish or whatever that I use um, and just let the brushes soak and do it that way but then it seemed like I was wasting so much product and it was taking so much of this to clean the brushes and um, this wasn't super duper expensive but I know it wasn't super duper cheap either um, I don't know the exact price, so I don't want to tell you guys, and I'd be lying. But, um, would I repurchase this? Would I use this again? Probably not. Um, so, yeah. I am currently looking for a really good brush cleaner, something that's going to be easy to use, that I can just grab and clean my brushes real quick and be done. Um, I know cleaning brushes isn't really a quick thing. I think that's why many of us really dislike when we have to clean our brushes. Um... And I'm really bad about that, I will totally admit. But um, thank God I don't wear eyeshadow every single day, so my brushes don't need clean that much. But, you know, still, there are brushes that I use every day, like my eyebrow brush and whatnot, that I do have to clean every day, and I just need a good brush cleaner. So if you know something that you think I might like or I might enjoy that you're currently using or you've used in the past, comment below and let me know because, like I said, I'm... Definitely, definitely looking for some recommendations for a good brush cleaner. Um, enough rambling. The next item we have is this Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Lemon Verbena Scent Dish Soap. Um, I had purchased this on Grove Collaborative with um, an order that I had placed. And I want to say this is like my third time buying this. I think. Yeah. I think. Might have been my second. I can't remember. I have mommy brain, so whatever. Um, but I wanted to give this another chance because I did not love it the first time, but I still don't love it. And honestly, it's okay, but I'm not going to purchase this again. Um, for those of you who love Mrs. Meyers products, please don't, don't hate me for this, but I'm just not a huge fan. I don't care for the scents either. Um... That's kind of why I went with the lemon, like the first and second time, possibly the third. Like I said, I don't remember. Because you can't 
you can't go wrong with lemon normally. I do really enjoy their um, antibacterial um, spray cleaner that they have. I do get that in the lemon verbena, the Mrs. Myers, and I do really like that. But like other products and stuff, I just I haven't cared for, and I, again, I don't care for this either. Um, and like I said, I'm not a fan of her scents. Um, I've smelled them inside Target and Walmart before, like, you know, just smell different products. And I think the scents smell really bad. That's my opinion. I'm sorry for those of you who love her scents. I just, I don't. I'm not a fan of them. And this, um, I felt like it got the dishes clean, but not as good as, like, Dawn, which is what I normally use. Um, and, again, comes down to, like, lathering and suds with me and this just did not suds up that well I felt like you put it in your dish soap and put it in your dish soap okay put it in your dish water and the suds would like disappear really quick and I was just left with like um water with like a what's the word I'm looking for can't find it I don't know I like a film my just like water with a film and I don't know I didn't like it Sorry, don't, don't hate me, don't hate me. Um, let's see, what else? Um, also this phenomenal organic tan infused cloth. Up to 10 days from one application. This was a tanning cloth that I did get in my, um, I want to say that I got this in April, Allure's box, I believe. I really enjoyed these. Um, it was just a little cloth inside the pack and you would just take it off and um, I normally don't fake and bake that much but once in a while so um, if I can find something good that's quick that will get the job done when I am looking for something like that I'm all about it and this was that product you took it out you just rubbed it on your skin and um, <clears throat> excuse me it went on evenly it left no streak marks no orange look. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, you know how like a lot, if you've used self tanners before, a lot of them will leave you looking orange, looking crazy, and your hands and your knuckles and stuff will be just like looking crusty and dusty. No ma'am, not these. So these were really good and I would definitely purchase these again to have on hand during the summer um, if I wanted or needed to do that and get like a quick tan. Um, so the last product I have here is the It Cosmetics Brow Power um, Eyebrow Pencil. Um, I used this sucker down to like nothing. Um, this was in the color Universal Taupe. Yes, I really enjoyed this. Um, if you're a brow person and you, and you do your eyebrows, um, give this a try. You might really like this. It does have the spoolie on one end and then of course just the product on the other end. Um, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I would definitely repurchase that. Sorry guys, hair is getting annoying. And I'm definitely going to repurchase that. Um, I did see on one of Debbie's videos um, that she did her brows with that and her brows looked amazing. So I even commented and let her know like your brows look amazing because they really did, and um, she had said that she used this um, It Cosmetics, um, sorry I keep saying, um, um, Brow Power Pencil, so it must just, it must not be just me, you know, like I guess a lot of other people love it too, but if you're looking for a good brow pencil, I'm telling you, it's a bit on the pricey side, well to me, I don't know what your definition of pricey is, but I'm cheap, and I don't like to spend a lot of money, believe it or not. My husband would beg to differ, but I would say that I don't. Um, and this is definitely worth it. I don't remember the exact price on these. I know it's over $20, I want to say. I'm positive. I want to say it's like $22. Like $22 or $25. I can't remember. But for me, that's a bit up there. But I would totally repurchase it and pay the money for that ten times over. So... That's all I have for you guys. That was all my trash, my empties. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. If not, let me know. Um, if you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up.
comment below. Let me know what your thoughts were. Have you tried any of these things? Did you like them? Did you like anything that I didn't like? Again, ladies, if you know of a brush cleaner that you think that I might like, please comment below and let me know because, again, I am looking for a good brush cleaner to buy for my brushes. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Oh, real quick, too. I think I'm currently at like 101 subscribers, so I'm going to be making a video here coming up about my 100 subscriber giveaway. Um, my subscribers keep fluctuating, which I think I know why, but I don't know for sure, so I'm not um, going to say because it's not something nice anyways, and I don't like to say things that aren't nice. I try to be a nice person, but whatever. Um, so I think I know why, but I'm not for certain, and that's another reason I don't want to say why, because I don't like to speak on things that aren't facts and that I don't know to be a fact, and that's what, this is one of those things. But anyways, they keep fluctuating, so I was at 100, and I was like, okay, let's start this giveaway, and then I went to go do it that day, and then I looked, and I was at 99 subscribers, so I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll wait, Then I looked today, and I'm back at 101, so I'm like, okay, what's really going on, but... I don't know. So um, I'm going to give it a couple more days and see what happens, but that is coming up, so um, watch for that for sure. Um, also, I wanted to ask you guys, I'm like so torn with this giveaway. Like, I guess I'm making too big of a deal out of it than what it really is, but that's just me. That's how I am. That's how I do things. Um, I get anxiety over everything, and I just make too big of a fuss over stuff that's like not a big deal. For instance, this 100 subscriber giveaway. Who cares? It's not even a big deal, right? But it is to me. And I'm so worried I'm going to get stuff that nobody's going to like, which is I'm sure won't happen because normally I pick pretty good things. Um, but I'm just, I don't know. So comment below and let me know, like, what would you guys like to see in a giveaway? Um, and don't feel like that's rude because I'm asking you, like, for opinions. I have a couple ideas. I think what I'm going to do, I'm not for sure. But I think I know what I'm going to do. Because um, I don't want to just like base it on just makeup or something. Because um, I feel like that's what most people do. And don't get me wrong. That's great. Like this is an unboxing channel. I'm like beauty products and makeup. But I feel like it would be fun to maybe get like something else too. Besides like just makeup or beauty products. Um... So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to do some beauty products, but I think I might also throw in like a gift card on top of that because, I mean, who doesn't like free money? And a gift card is basically like free money, right? So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I'm not 100% for sure yet, so don't hold me to that, but I'm about like 98% sure that that's what I'm going to do is just um, get like a gift card and then a couple um, like beauty products on top of it. Nothing huge because, again, this is only my 100 subscriber giveaway. Obviously, when I get more and more up there, the giveaways will get bigger and better. If I even get there, I might not, and if not, that's fine too. I mean, I'm not really here to try to get, like, thousands of subscribers. Would that be nice? Absolutely. Who doesn't want that? But that's not, like, why I do this. I just, it's a hobby for me. I enjoy it. It's fun. It gives me something to do. Um... Where I currently live, I don't live by family or anything. Like, my family is hours away and stuff. I don't have any friends here because my friends are, like, back home. And um, so I'm just, like, here, and I have my kids and my husband, and that's it. And I get really bored and really lonely. So for me, this is so much fun. <clears throat> and, again, it gives me something to do. So that's why I do this. I do this because it's a hobby, and I enjoy it. Like I said, it's not like for attention or to try to see, oh, can I get, you know, 10,000 subscribers or because it's never going to happen and I'm totally okay with that. The only reason I really want to get more subscribers is because to do the giveaways because I love to give to people and give gifts and whatnot and it's so exciting and so fun. And again, I think that's why I'm like putting so much thought into this giveaway because I just want it to be perfect. That's just like Christmas or birthdays with like giving gifts. I always want to get like the perfect gift and make sure that somebody like loves it. So I don't know. I'm making too much out of it. I know it's not that serious, but it is to me because I love my subscribers and you guys are all really special to me. And I just want to make sure that I get something that you guys are going to thoroughly enjoy. So yes. All right, guys, this video is 
almost 20 minutes long. I don't think any of my videos here on YouTube so far have been this long, so I'm very sorry to keep rambling on. Um, most of you guys have probably already left by now, and you're not listening anyway, so that's okay. But, um, yeah, so please hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed, um, and why not? Enter in that giveaway and um, get that perfect gift. I'm joking, guys. It's not going to be perfect. I'm, it was a total joke. But, um, yeah, hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed, if you enjoy unboxings and whatnot. It's mainly what I do here on my channel, and you see, starting now, I'm going to be showing you guys my trash every month. So, um, that, comment below, give this video, 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 I'm tired, I need to go to bed. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and that's all I have for you guys tonight. But again, stay tuned for my giveaway video. It is coming up very, very soon, any day now. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.